It has been a few months. I thought I would bring a recruiter and former travel nurse, current nurse still, uh, Brad McDonald in to talk about the state of the industry, especially from maybe the recruiter seat. We talk about that today, and we talk about what we're looking forward to through the end of the year. Atlas All Access starts now. Brad, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Rich. Give me an idea. Let, let's talk about what it looks like to be a recruiter right now and what jobs look like, what bill rates look like. Because I think that's, from a, from a traveler standpoint, that's probably what's at the forefront of their mind going into the last half of the year. Oh, 100%. So, I mean, as everyone has experienced, basically, I feel like it's starting in January. Mm-hmm. Really, where the jobs started getting cut, the pay rates got cut substantially. Yep. And we've kind of been living in this limbo for a long time. And, you know, we something had to change. Rates had to change mm-hmm. because everything, everyone knows it's still working in the industry right now. It's not like they are all of a sudden there abundance of nurses out there. Right. You know? Yeah, the supply didn't change overnight. No, not at all. And so we still have the same poor ratios. Hospitals need yep. help. Yep. Everything. So... In my opinion, it was just a matter of time before they realized or got so many complaints or so many people quitting or moving on to greener pastures Mm -hmm. that they had to do something about it. So I feel like definitely in the last few weeks, more than anything we were discussing before Mm -hmm. we even started here, that I've started seeing an uptick in bill rates. Yeah. And um, that could have multiple factors. I think, obviously, like I said, pressure from Mm -hmm. nurses. So supply and demand is a real thing, right? And no mm-hmm. matter what industry you're in, that's a real thing. And yeah. supply and demand affects price. Mm-hmm. And and so I think that's exactly what's happening here. You're starting to see some of that pressure the other way. Yeah, uh-huh. totally agree. And I'm sure, you know, I talked to all my nurses all over the country. They're seeing an uptick in COVID cases again. Yes. Not as much hospitalization, obviously, mm-hmm. but it's still going to crowd like the ERs. You run out of rooms. Everyone's talking about that. Uh, all my nurses work in the ER anyway, more borders than ever, you know, just yeah. like it was around early those times. So I have a feeling that's probably going to have something, some changes in the market due to that as well. Yeah, I, I think so too. Mm-hmm. How does, okay, so new new COVID cases, right? Mm-hmm. Along with flu cases, like yeah. we're starting to see, it's just about the time now where we're starting, you know, we you have to get your flu shot, you have, mm-hmm. you know, all of those things are happening where do we think, I think I know where it's going to go. Where do you think it's going to go? Like, how do you think the flu season is going to affect our industry in general? Sure. And every year, uh, so I traveled for a long time, many years before COVID as well. And this time of the year was always the same as far as increase in jobs and everything. Mm-hmm. Flu season, some are bad, some aren't so bad, you know, but now we have the combination of flu and COVID. Yep. So I would imagine, again, this is me just guessing here, it's going to be more of an uptick than normal, especially since we went so far down, mm-hmm. that this is going to have more of an impact probably than a regular winter month. Yep. You know? I, I, I feel the same way. So part of it, and it's it's twofold. One, I think we haven't had a very, we haven't had a dramatic flu season in a while. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's been it's been rather mild. Mm-hmm. I think we're kind of due. Yeah. Second, with how hospitals staff through the summer, with that on kind of the on on the downslope, mm-hmm. you have no place to go but up. Yeah. After that, so I think those two factors right there are going to lead to an increase not only in bill rates here in the third and fourth quarter, but in open jobs. One hundred percent. I would totally agree. Where are you seeing the most? Right. I mean, obviously you were in the ER. Mm-hmm. Where are you seeing the most open jobs right now? That's that's. I mean, med search is always going to have a ton mm-hmm. of jobs. But as we were speaking before, the one big change I've seen, because ICU has been kind of down, I have a feeling, you know, with the oversaturation of COVID, Mm -hmm. ICU nurses traveling, whatever, the rates kind of went a little bit below probably than what all the travelers expected or were used to getting. And that's the one I've really seen the last two weeks. I've seen two, three hundred dollar increase in rates per week. And so I like seeing that right now. I, well, and I think it's only going to continue to go up. Totally. This here. is the beginning of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, it's only been the last week or two. Yep. Okay. Um, give me an idea. And I, I know you only work on the nursing side. Mm-hmm. Give me an idea what you see on the allied health side, too. Do you get any kind of crossover? And do you have vis- any visibility into that whatsoever? 
Not a ton other than like RTs because mm-hmm. this is RT season. Yeah. You know, that's the big one. As far as the other modalities, I haven't worked with them a ton, so I don't look at their jobs anymore. You know, at the beginning, mm-hmm. when I first started as a recruiter, we were both. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and then we split that out. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. So mine have gone other directions. So really, I kind of focus on nursing. But definitely, no matter what, no matter the year, no matter what's going on, RTs are definitely going to come up right now. I think you're going to see that just in general. Right? Yeah, I mean, 100%. That, yeah. That was yeah. the one thing I noticed, at least talking to Dan on our allied side, mm-hmm. that that's the one increase, the big increase that he Oh, 100%. Seen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Totally. Awesome. Which brings me to just my opinion. Now, this is just my opinion. It's conference season again. So TravCon was last week. Uh, Staffing World is coming up. SIA. uh, Healthcare staffing is coming up. We're going back to Las Vegas again in November for, uh, for that. What does that mean for all of you? What does that mean for you on a contract? It gives us here at the... Uh, at the agency level, more insight into maybe what the whole market is seeing just in general. Um, We kind of, we live in our own little bubbles every week. You know, we talk to our recruiters, uh, we talk to our client managers and to our compliance people. uh, But then we have these, we have the chance to go out to these different conferences and really, and visit with our industry peers, our competitors uh, in a lot of ways, but our peers in a lot of ways too, and and share information. There's a, there's a group of us that share a lot of information. Uh, We're all like-sized companies. And one of the things that I think is, is key for our industry going forward is for that sector that that mid-range sector from us that are from you know number six through number 20 to continue to grow and collaborate together mm-hmm. um we'll see it there's i mean there's there, there's the big five and and those they're, they're doing quite well but then from you know six to 20 six to 25 those you know just in revenue that which we fall into um we communicate often and i, and I think that's it's key for our industry to continue to do that to continue to push forward because then I bring this information back after a couple of you know a couple of these conferences and sit down with recruiters and you know we have a we have a Friday meeting every week uh, with the whole company and we talk through some of that information. It's important. So listen, it's coming. That information is coming here over the next couple of months. Nathan will remind me that we need to sit down in these chairs again and uh, and do this and talk about what happens at those conferences. But I think they're key, and I think they're important for you to know what happens when we go out and we do those different conferences and the things that we talk about with other agencies. All right, final thoughts on the end of this year. Give me an idea. Shake your Shake your crystal ball, okay? And say, this is what's going to happen through the end of the year right now. Uh, I would say my prediction would be a normalization. Okay. You know, because it's been such a roller coaster over the last year mm-hmm. that I think by the end of this year, it's going to be a long enough time where nurses kind of put their foot down. No, I'm not going to take those rates. And, you know, eventually the hospitals have to break. You got to be able to take care of your patients. Right. And if they get such bad reviews and scores, you know, they lose out on funding as well. Right. So they've got to think about that. So I think a more normalization of rates that reflects what it actually costs for temporary housing, because that is the big problem. If these rates existed pre-COVID, yeah. you know, everyone would have been ecstatic. Sure. But yeah. the housing, the cost of temporary housing has gone up so much yep. that the rates for travel nurses need to match. And that is is what I'm hoping and thinking will happen by the end of the year. That's actually a really good idea. We could do a whole piece just on on how housing has changed oh. over the past six years. Yeah. Maybe even. Right? Oh, 100%. I mean, it's, it's changed so much from when mm-hmm. you were traveling to right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could mention some of what I was paying for rent sometimes before <laughs> COVID and versus now when people just jobs have dropped to the floor. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Write that down. That's a good idea. Write that down. I like that idea. So, Brad, thank you so much. Always, Rich. I'm going to let you get back to recruiting. So Sounds good, bud. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.